Hello again everyone and welcome back to my series on how to draw the Beatles. Before we start of course, if you could subscribe that would be fabulous, thank you very much. And also ring the little bell icon if you want to know what's coming up next. Ok, well the Beatle today is Ringo Starr. I'm going to start with the eyes as usual. Now Ringo's eyes are kind of droopy, they kind of angle down at the sides like that. And if you start at this one here, uh, cut up at a very shallow slope and then get that droopiness coming down towards the corner like that. Ok, with his eyelid coming in about there. It'll point and then bottom of the eye a bit deeper there, quickly coming up to that point there. Ok, and then the pupil of the eye coming in about there. Ok, I'll let I about starting there and again going up fairly quickly and then dripping off like that. Ok, with the eyelid just showing here. Then the bottom of the eye and the slope and then curving back up quickly there. And the pupil of the eye coming in there, like that. Ok, and centre part and then a highlight of it there. Same with that one. Ok, very smiley face Ringo. <laughs> now his eyebrows come down fairly close to the top of the eye. Oh, this one starts about here, comes in disappears under his mop, his hair. <laughs> Another one starts about here and then goes up and comes around the muscle of the corner of the eye about there. Comes down quite far actually, ok? And the hair comes in along the forehead just above the eyebrows here, be parting there, coming out. The ringers here is combed like this, coming from the top, swinging across his forehead and then curving back around this way top of the hair is quite high up about here, a real mop top <laughs> and coming out like that, it's the kind of parting there, coming up and coming around like that. Ok, and again the hair comb still coming coming this way like that, down to side of his face covering his ear, his sideburn there. Another one coming in about there, his ear appearing in here, and more hair at the back. Ok, now his nose, his famous nose, ok. <laughs> Quite broad at the top, and you get that kind of bit of shading coming in here, and a little bit of shading under the eye, and then centre of the nose is fairly long, you know, and is rounded like that, and there's the front, kind of bulbous, like a bulbous, and then the side of the nose is coming in there like that, ok, and his lips are fairly near the nose, there's not a lot of uh, top lip there because of the overhang of the nose, <laughs> and um, that's a great nose, and you've got uh, Top lip coming in here, starting there, and the ring of his great smile. Again, a little beamer coming up more at this side and curving up, and then coming down again towards the corner. Like that, a bit more curvy, his lift is slightly more on this side, coming out there, and his teeth. Well, first of all, put at the bottom part of the the mouth in, it's quite open, quite a large mouth, like that, almost squared along the bottom, coming back up like that, and then his teeth, great set of teeth. <laughs> He's got uh, two large ones there, and then, and then his eye tooth is quite pointed actually, fairly long, coming in there and there'll be tooth behind it, and then there's another one, an eye tooth showing here, and another one just behind there. And then his bottom teeth just appearing above his bottom lip, coming in there. 
Okay, and his chin is fairly straight across the bottom, coming up like that. And get this line like that before you draw the jaw. There's another line there. He's got these kind of wrinkles coming up his face there, and your jawline comes in here. This is his cheekbone coming in about there, like that. And the other side comes up like that. And at the side of his face, of course, you have the lines coming down from the side of his nose to his mouth. It's coming like that. Yeah, happy smiley face. And a bit more shading under there. And his neck comes in here, like that. And his collar, really low down, with a tie appearing in here. This, again, we're just going to sketch in the jacket and the collar of the shirt. There's the lapel of the jacket coming in here, another one appearing there. And his shoulders. And his ear. Another ear comes in about here with his hair coming in behind it there. Okay, so there's the basic drawing of Ringo. Uh, now what I'm going to do is uh, start to put a bit of shading and start to model the face a bit. All right, well, let's start with the eyes. These nice droopy eyes. Start from the corner, coming up, put a bit of weight on your pencil. And as you come over the top, really lean down on your pencil and get a nice thick eyelashes coming in there. And the top, the eye lid coming in there. And it's going to be shaded under his eyebrow there. So put a bit of shading in there, coming around and also around his eye there. Another line here. And the bottom of his eye coming in in a curve. Coming up and then a little line for his eyelashes below his eye there. And then the actual people itself, the outside shape, you can make like that, and then the center dark. I said highlight in the middle. So shade that in very dark in the center. And then a mid-tone for this outer part here. Okay. And a bit more shading there. Excellent. The other one coming in from here, coming up, and I'll do exactly the same. Nice and heavy on the eyelashes there and working in here and also working in that. Okay, I'm just finishing off this eye now. We'll move up to the eyebrow. And again, use your pencil strokes in the way that the hair is going to be lying in the eyebrow, which is across this way. And this one as well, which comes in about here. It comes around the side of the eye muscle there, round to about there. Okay. And we'll get a bit more shading just in here, I think, around the top of the eye and also around here. Just delineating the top of the nose here. And then the shape of the nose is very broad as you come down here. So you put some shading in. There's the two lines coming down on either side of the nose there. And as you come down, you can put a bit more weight in your pencil to get the shading around the tip of the nose itself. Like that, and a bit of shadow underneath there on his lip. A bit more shading in here. Like that, okay. And a bit of shading in here. A bit more of a work in that, but a bit later, but that's uh, looking quite good for Mr. Richard Starkey. <laughs> well, let's move up to the hair now. Okay, Ringo's hair combed right over his forehead, coming down quite low, and then starting to come this way, as I said, right round. A bit of a parting there, coming down again quite low to get it further there. Now, what I want to do is draw the light areas. So there's a bit of a curve there. So the light is going to be catching this part. So what you do is you draw your light shape. The part that's been caught by the light, there's a the light shape there. Right there. And there's another part that's coming up there. Another part being caught about here, coming down that curl there. And also this curve here, you'll get 
bit of light shaping in here, like that, and on the top of this curve here, something like that, form of that shape, and maybe another bit of light coming down here. Okay, and now if you've been following the other Beatles drawings I've been doing, you'll know exactly how to work on the hair. Basically what you do is you try to make your pencil strokes follow the hair, but also when you come up to the big dark areas at this area in here, you can actually start to use your pencil in a circular way just to try and fill it in, fill the big space in, you know. But at the same time trying to keep the idea that the hair is going in that direction. But you can't cross hatch, you know, and fill it in very quickly. Uh, it gets a nice loose sketchy quality. So I'm going to work on that. I'm going to do all the dark areas and leave these areas white and let's see how that looks when I've done it. Okay, I'm just finishing off the hair now. As you can see, I've used quite loose pencil strokes. Get a quite a impressionist quality here. And also, these highlights don't have to be totally white. You can just grade them down slightly and even draw across them to suggest the hair. Okay, what I'll do just now, let's move down to the rest of the face now. A bit more shading on the side of the nose here. A couple of bits of lines coming in here. Again, you can use cross hatching like that if you like. Rather than the kind of smooth pencil strokes. It's up to you. And a little bit of shading in here, another bit of cross hatching coming in this there. And let's move on to the uh, mouth now. So get this nice dark line here, this curve, coming up a bit higher on this side. To the corner and then the top line not too heavy a line on this top part of the lip here because what I want to do is put a bit of shading just about here leaving a gap on both sides coming up following the line of the lip like that see that and then the, the teeth the two large teeth at the front here coming up and then the eye tooth. Same with this side, there's longer eye tooth here. And then the shape of the bottom lip coming in. And then flat and then curving up like that. And then his bottom lip coming in there. Like that. And this part of the bottom lip will be shaded. As well this part here leaving a highlight in the centre. And then the gap between these teeth, of course. Uh, quite dark in here, in the corner. A lot of weight in your pencil coming around that eye tooth there, make it stand out. And then the gap between the teeth, just the line of the bottom teeth coming in there like that. And then a bit more weight in your pencil as you come around these teeth here. Excellent. And you can just indicate the lines on the teeth and the gums here. And just very gently, not too much. Like that, okay? Uh, right, let's move down to the chin and get these shadows coming in now. Now, as I said, there's a crease coming around here and also another one just appearing in about here. These kind of muscles coming down to the front of the chin here. And you get a bit of shading coming in here and going up the side of his face. Again, we can use quite loose hatching lines and coming up to this nice wrinkle here. And another one coming up. You just flow that line up into his face there. Then to go back to the jawline again, bring another line up there up towards the cheekbone and then come back down and really accentuate the chin shape. And you've got a nice deep shadow coming around from about here, coming right up to the back of the neck there. So this deep shadow will be put in like this. Okay. 
and then a bit of loose shearing on the bottom part of the neck here so it's not too white okay right uh, let's put the collar in now there's a bit more sketchiness in there and of course the top part of the lapel which is black like there, I just sketch that in quickly. Same with that one. There we are. And this tie. And then, as with the other beetle, just use nice sketchy lines like that to fill in the jacket colour or tone. Like that. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this again and get a darker pencil and see if we can uh, improve it and also darken down some of the, the dark tones. Okay, I now have a, an 8B pencil. It's quite dark. And what I'm going to do is go over some of these darker areas here and uh, take them down and see if we can get some more dense looking. So I'll start with the hair and you can work across. It's a kind of waxy and so it glides across the tones I've already put down there. So if you put a bit of weight on it, you can see it makes a difference already. See how much darker that's becoming? So I'll work on that. I'll also work uh, down here, I think, a bit more dark on the pupils here. And a bit more shading around here. And generally, you know, I'll put some shading in where I think it's... Uh, it's necessary. So I'll do that and catch up here when I've done it. Okay, I've been working with the, the dark pencil. I've uh, deepened the shadows, or the tones rather, on the hair. I've also altered the eyes very slightly, brought them up more sharply and down that bit uh, stick more steeply too. Okay, and I also worked around the nose here. We've brought uh, some shading down the side and deepen that shadow there. Okay, well, that's Ring of Star. Hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you can join me again for another tutorial very soon. <laughs> but in the meantime, of course, all the best and happy drawing.